What happens when you go out and you cold call motivated sellers? Does the seller hang up, get annoyed with you? Are you super nervous to talk to these sellers? Are you sick of making a large two minute, three minute pitch on if they want to sell their property for cash? And you feel like when the seller just says no at the end, you just wasted all your time. Are you sick of just calling and calling for hours and then having a motivated seller just waste your time and not actually want to sell the property? The truth is most wholesalers starting out, this is their experience. And this is what wholesaling is in 2024 to them when it comes to cold calling motivated sellers. If you've bought in a wholesaling guru course for three or $4,000, these are your results. You're spending thousands of dollars and getting nowhere. The honest truth, when you are starting out as a beginner, cold calling motivated sellers, there are four main problems you are having and most people who pay for a guru program are going to get stuck in these four issues. Number one, not having the skills to actually cold call motivated sellers, not knowing what to say the right way and actually just plain old sucking at cold calling. The second issue is just the absolute worst scripts possible. You are using a bad script that is actually not getting a motivated seller to get you good wholesaling deals and not results. Every wholesaler and their mom is using the same guru script. Your tone and presentation is going to be off because you actually didn't learn that from your guru. The motivated seller is already off put by your tone and you're just giving a terrible presentation to them that someone on my sales team is actually going to do and get the wholesaling deal. And last but not least, your sellers, especially with the way that you're cold calling with a guru, they want to get off the phone as soon as possible and you're giving them every reason to get off the phone and not selling their wholesaling deal to you. These are the biggest issues I see in wholesaling real estate in 2024 when it comes to cold calling. And I truly believe most wholesalers don't know how to overcome this. The answer is actually having the correct script and the right knowledge and skills to do a complete 180 in your wholesaling business. So that's what I'm here to do today. I'm here to give you a cold calling system on learning how to overcome any issues you're going to have in cold calling in 2024, the perfect script for talking to these motivated sellers and actually using the script that really works right now this year in wholesaling real estate. My name is Zach and I've done over 2000 wholesaling deals in the past seven years, and I've taught in hundreds of thousands of wholesalers to get started, especially in cold calling. I have the biggest case study on cold calling in the entire world when it comes to wholesaling real estate. The systems and processes that I'm going to tell you today are the same ones I give in my free wholesaling course and to hundreds of thousands of wholesalers that actually get real results that land them 20, 30, 40, $50,000 wholesaling deals. These are tens and tens of millions of dollars being produced every single month from people learning from me and hundreds of millions a year just by using my simple, easy cold calling script. The issue is most wholesalers aren't willing to do the work that it takes to actually get the right knowledge here. You don't really need to have no accent at all or anything like that to actually get these deals. You can have a thick accent and still close sellers because the script is so easy. You could have just learned English and if you can use it, you'll get these wholesaling deals. So without further ado, let's get in these issues and the solutions with the systems and scripts that you need right now for cold calling. First and foremost, you suck at cold calling. The issue here is you just lack the skills that your guru has taught you for cold calling motivated sellers. When it comes to actually having a good cold call, it's never about what you say, it's how you say it. And the script is really important, but the way you present yourself to the seller from the get go right, right from the beginning is going to be super important to see if you get the wholesaling deal or not. Your seller, and I'm going to repeat this a million times, wants to get off the phone as soon as possible with you, getting, with you calling them. They frankly have better things to do in their day. So what you should be doing, number one, you should probably be cold calling with a smile. The one thing I've always done is when I'm talking to a seller, I try my best to have a smile on my face when I'm talking to a seller. You will subconsciously sound nicer, happier, and more chipper talking to a seller with a smile. Doing this will add, I know it seems crazy, but it actually has a big boost in your conversions for cold calling. Next year is cold calling at the wrong times. I see a lot of wholesalers struggle to cold call because they're calling from like 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and thinking, oh my gosh, why am I getting no sellers? Most sellers are at work or doing something else from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. The golden hours for cold calling have always been from between 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. wherever your time zone is that you're cold calling these sellers. Now, frankly, if you only have about two hours for cold calling, the best, best window for cold calling is going to be between 5 to 7 p.m. right now for wholesaling. The problem is most wholesalers do not cold call on the right times, and that leads to massive issues. The next main issue here I see is most wholesalers do not have a purpose in mind when they're cold calling. Think about this for a second. When you're talking to your motivated seller, actually have a purpose in your mind. Why am I calling this person? Actually have a goal for the end of the conversation. 
I know this seems really simple, but if you're having a seller that wants to sell their house and you don't have a goal at the end of that call for yourself of what you should be doing, you're gonna be completely screwed up. Now, if you go to freewholesaling.com, my free wholesaling course, where I teach you wholesaling real estate from A to Z, we clearly show for a cold call, the main objection is just finding somebody who wants to sell the property. That is it, easy and simple. You're not closing a seller, you're not trying to get them to go ASAP right now into closing it, boom, 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 boom. You're just being kind of an interviewer. You're just making sure and qualifying people to see if they actually wanna sell their property. And when they wanna sell their house, we get off the phone, we're gonna to speak to our partner and get onto the acquisitions part of the call. So just have a purpose and a goal in mind. I highly recommend you go to my free wholesaling course, freewholesaling.com to really learn how to do it the correct way. The next issue here is your tone and presentation is completely off when talking to these sellers. Your seller needs to like you or at the very least, just be interested in what you're saying. And most of your scripts that you use have no interest, no hook at all in them, and they're not getting good wholesaling deals. You frankly just sound like a salesman, and that is a terrible thing to say. That's probably one of the biggest insults I can give to any of my cold callers. You want to really write this down and make this important, but when you talk to a motivated seller, they need to look at you as a friend or as a fellow human being or just a regular Joe type person that you can relate to because that is who your motivated seller is. They're not a celebrity. They're not in finance. They're not doing any of that stupid stuff. When I talk to Joe who wants to sell his house, I want Joe to think of me as someone who's just like him. People tend to like people who are like them. Pretty easy and pretty simple, right? If I'm a family man that loves my family and I work a regular job, I'm probably gonna relate to family men that have a regular job too. And when you sound like a salesperson, you don't sound genuine and you don't sound truthful to your motivated seller. You sound like you're trying to sell them something or just pull a fast one on them. And most people do not like that at all. And it off puts them and they just hang up the phone. This is a huge and main reason why most guru trained people never get past the first two months with their cold calling. Because they sound like salesmen. They're like, this is Zach from Zach Home Solutions. And I want to see if you want a cash offer on your property. And, blah, 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 blah. and like your tone sounds like a salesperson. When I talk to a seller, it's like, hey, how are you doing today? Oh, wow, okay. How's the dog going? Like, just regular Joe stuff, you know, like you're talking to a neighbor. You don't say, hey, neighbor, how are you doing today? That's like guru stuff, right? You listen to a wholesaling guru, that's how they talk. It's ridiculous. You must make it a point to become relatable. And at freewholesaling.com, my free course, I show you exactly how to become relatable. Now, the next point and a super important one that just I have to drill in your head is your seller wants to get off the phone. They don't want to deal with you. They don't want to talk to you at all. From the initial part of them saying hello, they want to get off the phone. Every guru or their mom is going to tell you the opposite. The seller wants to talk to you and they want to have a four hour conversation. No, no, no. They have a problem and they just want to get rid of the problem. And if you're not someone who can solve their problem, they don't want to talk to you and they have better things to do. When you cold call your motivated seller, honestly, the most likely scenario, they're watching their Kardashian, their soap operas, the big football game, and they're focused on that, and they just worked a long 12-hour shift, and they don't want to deal with anything else today. They want to relax. They got home from work. It's 6 p.m. They just don't want to deal with it. They're a little hangry, and we got to see what Chloe's doing with her daughter. So when you cold call the seller on your phone, and the seller picks up, you have about 5 to 10 seconds to hook their interest, or they're going back to the Kardashians or the football game. And I don't want to stress you out or be like, oh my gosh, this is a make it or break it, but it's pretty important. And if you don't know exactly what to say here, you're really going to get screwed up. With social media and TikTok and all these dopamine hits people are getting, they want instant gratification or it's an instant answer and they're just quicker with their intention span. So you're going to have to be quicker with these sellers with the right script. You also got to be relatable like we've said before, at least show some interest in them and actually have an interesting question to give to them to really hook them in. And the answer to this is having the correct script. And that is the last issue we have here. Most of you people are learning from wholesaling gurus that don't cold call anymore or even know what it's like to run a cold calling operation. And what I've always said is when you do guru stuff, you get guru results. If you cold call like a guru, you're gonna end up making as much money as a guru, which is nothing. They're just broke wholesalers. Gurus sound fake, and when you talk to a seller and you sound like a guru, you're gonna sound fake just like them, which is just gonna be terrible and not give you any wholesaling deals. So what's the solution to all these problems? Having the perfect script. And like I said before, my script is simple. My script is easy. It answers all of these issues. And no, I'm not gonna go click below and pay $4,000 for the script in the system. No, 
I'm giving to you in this video for free. I make plenty of money wholesaling real estate. I make millions and millions of dollars doing this every single year in assignment fees. I don't need to be selling you a course. I do these videos, frankly, just to educate the industry and help people out for free because when I started out, I had no money at all too. And I wanted to become a millionaire and I want to help you get all the access to that absolutely for free because YouTube back then and still now has no free wholesaling content from A to Z, the complete package except on this YouTube channel. And of course, you can send me some JV deals. We can all make a little bit of money. But for my seven years of wholesaling, I've done every single script imaginable. I've done long scripts. I've done guru scripts. I've had scripts where I sound like a salesperson. I have a finance department and all these crazy things. And the one script that's always grabbed a seller's attention, let me have the best ROT return on my time when cold calling, which means I can get in front of more motivated sellers and actually get more wholesaling deals per hour of cold calling than any other script imaginable, is a short, simple, and easy script that anyone can learn on demand without a memorization at all. Are you ready for it? Let's reveal it right now. It is a two question pronged approach script. Number one, is this the owner of 123 Main Street? That is literally all you ask the first question. Let me repeat myself just in case you missed it. Hey, is this the owner of 123 Main Street? Now, if they are not the owner, you do not want to be cold calling this person and you will not close the deal because they're not the owner. Now, if they are the owner, we are going to the second part. They say, yes, I am the owner. You are then going to ask them if they are interested in selling their property. Pretty easy and pretty simple, right? I have statistically found in the last 2000 wholesaling deals that I've done that every single time I got an assignment of contract done and they closed a big deal, the motivated seller indeed was the owner of the property and they were interested in selling it. No seller ever told me that they're not the owner and they're not interested in selling it and it became a good wholesaling deal. And so I'm asking the bare necessities to these sellers. And if a seller tells me, yes, they want to sell the property and they are the owner of the house, that's frankly good enough for me to go and try to close the deal. A lot of you people want to comp properties for you, cold call these people, do all this analysis of the house and all these crazy things. When frankly, 95, heck, even 97, 98% of your sellers are just going to frankly not want to get rid of their property. And that's completely okay. Most people who own a house don't want to sell it. I call my grandma right now. She ain't going to sell her house. I call my aunt. She ain't going to want to sell her house. I, I talked to my, a cold call one of my buddies. I asked him, hey, are you looking to sell your house? Of course they're not looking to sell their house. Most people just stay in their house and live in it. They don't want to go sell it. But the select few that actually end up being motivated sellers and good wholesaling deals, they want to sell their house now. So it is a tried and true script that really works. I know a lot of you guys are like, but the guru script's more complicated and all that. Think about this clearly for a second. If I can go through a hundred sellers in a couple hours and are you interested in selling it? And I get no, 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 no. But at the hundredth one, I get the yes. Boom. I get a deal after two hours of cold calling versus if I did a script that probably takes three or four times more longer. Hey, is this the owner of one, two, three main Avenue? Oh, hello. My name is Zach and this is for Zach enterprise solutions, LLC. And I'm here to buy your property. We are a cash solutions company that has no hold bars, no gimmicks and no games. We'll give you a cash offer in your property with no money out of pocket at you for all. We will pay for your title. We will have no inspections and we will not play any games. Are you looking to sell your property for a cash solution right now? Do you see how long and stupid that is? My finance department will talk to you. That probably takes four to five times longer than just my regular the script. In two hours, you could probably only get 20 or 30 of those out when I'm just ramming through with my script and actually getting in front of the sellers. Because remember, it does take time and tender care for these people that want to sell their house to get them to a signed contract. You want to put all that time, tender care and rapport building into the seller when they say they want to sell their property, not before they say yes to it. You do not want to waste your time here. You only want to bring acquisitions that are actually closing the deal, which is going to be you, but you got to move it into the podio or your CRM of choice of people who just want to sell their house. That's what you do. Cold calling is not a game of closing. Cold calling is a game of just finding people who want to sell their property. Once you do that, then acquisitions can qualify and do the MCT and go from there. And remember, asking if they're the owner of the property throws them off like crazy. They're watching their Kardashians. They get a call. Hey, is this the owner of 123 Main Avenue? Uh, yes, this is him. They're like, what's going on? Did someone rob my house? Is there a fire? Is this a long lost lover? What's going on? Right. And because you did that, the seller's thrown off. They're used to answering the phone saying, no, getting off and going to the next call. But you ask them a question they actually have to say yes to. Because when the seller answers the phone, they're like, no, 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 get off the phone. Let me watch my Kardashians or the football game. But you actually force them to say yes and actually pique their curiosity. This is why the script works really well. And you don't sound like a robot saying this. This is the best part about it all. But you got to remember, guys and gals, 99% of the issue here for cold calling of why you're getting no results 
Yes, it's the script that's really important, but just showing up is going to be the other half of the battle. I can show you the best scripts and information and all these things, but if you don't show up and make the calls, you're not going to do well. I challenge everybody watching this to try at least one to two hours of cold calling every single day for five days straight. At least five to 10 hours every single week of cold calling, I promise you, just doing this will give you positive momentum with the right scripts and you'll get wholesaling results. Guys, if you wanna learn wholesaling real estate for free, learn not by just looking, but actually looking over my shoulder of live cold calls and me closing sellers, look at my scripts and all these objections and how to overcome them and the right lists and all these things. Just go to my free wholesaling course, freewholesaling.com, and I'll teach you exactly how to wholesale real estate and cold call motivated sellers like a pro absolutely for free. Heck, this is a $5,000 course I'm selling to you right now for the low price of $0. Guys, if you can go there, check it out, frillson.com. And like always, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you got any value from this video, and I'll see you soon. This is Zach in signing out. Have a blessed one.